This is Jason with Eastern Star Small Engine. Just want to show you a little bit more of uh, what we do here. This is my own personal uh, motor that I'm working on. This is a 440 Chrysler Big Block. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to get this thing ready to put in a drag car. But first we got to uh, size these cylinders before we order um, the pistons. So we're going to see what it takes to clean this cylinder up. We'll get to a certain point, then we'll stop, and then we'll order our kit and get this, you know, size the pistons. That way we can size the cylinders to match the pistons. Because if you bore a cylinder without having that piston, you could get outside of tolerance, and then you're in a bad way, and then you gotta step it up even farther. So we wanna just clean this up to where we can do like a 30 over piston. And, uh, well, let me show you how I set this up. First thing we have is, is these little pins go in here. And what this does is this centers, centers this machine inside of that cylinder. It's perfectly centered. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've already centered it, but I'm gonna move it just a little bit just to show you. So I'm just gonna tweak that just a little bit. Okay, and then I gotta run this down in here. And these pins, when I turn this knob up top, I turn this knob, what that does is it pushes those pins out and it will center this machine to where when I put my cutter in here, it's centered. Now, right now, this cylinder has a, has a ring groove on it, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to run this down in the, run this down in the cylinder. I'll try to move my hand so you can see it get it down in there ways. You can run it down about halfway. And if you look real close, you might see this machine move. So I just start turning that counterclockwise and I'll slow down a little bit here. You can see that machine starting to line itself up. And once this knob on top gets a little stiff and stops, but don't force it, you stop right there. Okay, I'm centered but I leave it there and then I've got this tool that goes in the back side of the machine and this grabs onto the bottom of the cylinder comes up here and this piece will hook right into there and then I turn this and it locks this machine down onto the block now I've got this block on an engine stand so I don't have a table, so I use it this way. I board a, a 350 Chevy out to a, a 30 over, and we made a stroker motor out of it. But uh, I'm gonna set this up, get this, get this tightened down, and then I'll bring this back up, and then I'll start setting up my cutter. Like I said, we're only just trying to see how far we have to go to get the cylinder to clean, clean up. Okay, and then I'm going to stop. Stock bore on a 440 Chrysler is a 4.320. Now, this machine is in millimeters. So, what I'll do is I'll change my, I'll just change that, change that to millimeters. And then I, you know, when I get my new piston, I'll mic it and then I'll bore the cylinder, cylinder accordingly. On race applications, you know, you're gonna go a little bit farther out on a uh, race motor than you would a uh, street car or uh, just an everyday driver. So, but I'm gonna get this locked down and I'll show you how we get the cutter set up. Okay, we're getting our cutter set up. And this cutter, this, this inserts into the boring bar, okay? And then you've got your cutter out here and then your adjustment pin back here. You adjust this, not the machine. This is how you get your size. So, and you've got this little caliper here that actually is in millimeters and it tells you what you're, what you're seeing. And you lay that, you lay that, there's a flat spot on there and you lay that up against the fence and then you dial this in. So I've set up my cutter 
at 109.61. So, and my piston mic'd out at 109.68, so I'll probably have to open that up just a little bit, my cutter. Dial bore gauge, uh, actual inside of the cylinder is 109.71. So our cylinder, you know, of course, your cylinder's gotta be bigger than your piston, but, um, but I'm gonna have to probably move this cutter back just a little bit to get closer to my 109.71. Now I do have a, a ridge at the top of the cylinder, so I might not go, I won't go quite that far because I wanna just, this is just a preliminary cleanup. I just wanna see, as I don't wanna go too far because if I go too far, and then I'm gonna have to oversize again. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna get it right the first time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back this up just to, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna try it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the machine and uh, we'll fire it up and see what we got. Okay, we've got our cut cutter set up at 109.79. 109, 109.79.80, right in there. And I think that's gonna get us where we need to go for our first preliminary pass, just to make sure everything's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So you got a flat side on this cutter Stick it in there, and there's a set screw over here. Tighten that down. Okay, now get my get my cutter down close. This is an automatic feed, so I got to turn on my phase phase converter. And what it does is it comes up to speed. That's the hertz that it's coming up to. It should come up about 28.7, I do believe. Okay. All right. I'm gonna pick this in gear. We got two different speeds on this machine. I like to go with the faster one. And it starts pumping. You'll hear it start slicing on it. Like I say, the, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get it to where we know where we're going to bore a cylinder. We've got to, we got to know. See, there goes the captain. We've got to know where we need to stop. And once we get our pistons, we can mic our pistons, and then we can bore the cylinder accordingly. So right now, it's just hitting the top of that, that ring groove. It'll probably settle down here in just a second. To the cylinder. See, there it settled down. The cylinder is actually bigger because of the wear. So what I, what happened there was I just took off the top ring, ring groove from the, from the piston coming up and that's where the ring is stopped every time, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this machine off. And it backs itself off. And now I'm gonna move my cutter out just a little bit farther. It should shut itself off. Got my phase converter off. Turn this around. Now I'm gonna have to open up my cutter just a little bit more. Because if I can look down inside the cylinder, I can tell I just took off the top ring group. I actually still have a little bit left. It's out there a ways. It'll probably take probably 30 thousandths to clear this up. You know, if we have to go 40, we will. But we're hoping we don't have to. We're hoping we can clean this up at 30. So, and then I gotta, I gotta set my depth stop because I don't want this cutter to get down too far in there because there's bosses down in there and it'll destroy this head. And this, these machines can get expensive and I'd like to keep it around for a while. So we'll get this uh, moved out a little bit, make a pass and show you what we got. Out of this machine. Um, this right here is your depth stop. Comes down here and pushes this lever. What it does is it, it throws this into neutral throws your transmission into neutral and then you pull up on your lever over here and then it reverses the machine and uh, so I got the depth set up so I'm gonna got my cutter back in there <clears throat> and I moved it out to 109.90 and that has been millimeters 
So, and back here on this, it's actually got a um, stone back there. So your tips get dull. You can actually touch those tips, sharpen them back up. Go back here to the back. And this is a system that I got. And what it does is it holds that still on top of the deck. I'll show you. I'll take a move the camera underneath. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that straddles the cylinder, and that holds that still. So I'm going to put the put the camera back in the in the holder here, and we'll make another pass. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like we got our cutter out to uh, one nine nine zero. So I got my machine coming up to speed. Just put the gear. Yeah. So I always let my face further come up to full power. And we're gonna let her cut just a little bit to see how it goes. <clears throat> You'll hear it start to hit. And there it goes. What this will do, this machine will feed itself all the way down through there. <clears throat> Once it hits a stop, it'll stop. And then I have to move this handle. I bring this handle. I push it down. And it'll reverse the machine and come back out. So I'd say this is just a preliminary bore to see what size of pistons we're going to need okay if you say i just cut the ring groove out again so but I, I still have some ring groove left so i'm going to have to take my cutter back out it's still it's still hitting just a little bit i can hear it cutting so i'm just going to let it ride a little bit because that just kind of shows you how out around the cylinder can get and this motor might have i'm sure this motor has over a hundred thousand miles on it so I'm just gonna let it cut. So what it's doing is it's gonna make that cylinder back to perfectly round. I know I'm not probably explaining everything about this machine, but I've learned a lot on this machine. But uh, we just let it do its thing. And once we get this cylinder all cleaned up, we will know where we gotta go. Okay, we uh, finished are doing our preliminary bore on this 440 big block. Now, if you notice in the cylinder, it's all cleaned up all the way down. So we got the cylinder back to round and we got all the, all the taper out of it. I do, I do notice a little bit of a haze right there, but, but what I want to tell you is we are about eight thousandths away from being 30 over on this cylinder. So now I know what size of piston I'm gonna get. So, but we bore it and we get it close and then we hone it the rest of the way to get the final size. And it, like I said, we've gotta get our piston first. So I'm gonna stop right now, get the piston, mic, this, mic the skirt of the piston because the top of the piston is always smaller than the skirt. So once I mic that, then I can get my machine back on here and get this sized to where I need to go. But I wanted to stop just as soon as I got it cleaned up. That way I can come back in and do it just another little bit of a bore to get a little bit closer. And then we can start matching these pistons to match these cylinders. But now I can go over to this next cylinder. Of course, it's a little dirty. I've, I've hot tanked this, hot tanked this block, but See, all that'll clean up and that'll all look good. And once I get done, it'll look like that. So that's, that's what I've done with my boring machine. I hope you like that video. Um, I enjoy doing this kind of work. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of how this works. Thank you for your time.